Welcome. In this video, we'll learn how to install our school Xerox copier and other printers onto our Windows 10 work computer. We start by clicking the show hidden icons, which is the up arrow in the lower right hand corner of our screen. From there, we select the Xerox Workplace Cloud client. One thing that's important to note is that you may see this client asking you to sign on when you first sign into your computer. I think it's important for you to know right now that some of the steps I'm about to show you may not be required if you already set yourself up in the Xerox Workplace Cloud. Just want you to be aware of that. Back on the client, we right click on it and select sign in. We enter our full email address and press submit. Next, we may be required to enter our company code. Enter 69UXHV. This is not case sensitive. Press submit. Next, we have to go to our email and get a verification code. Copy the verification code, and then we go back to our Xerox client. Enter or paste that verification code you copied from the email, then enter domain, which is Wolf Creek backslash your username. Your username is the same name you sign onto the computer with. Next, enter the password you use to sign onto your Windows computer with, then press submit. Next, we go back to the Xerox Workplace Cloud Client. We can see that we're signed in because it's telling us we can sign out. Also, sign in is grayed out. Now we choose Add Printer. This will now open our browser and redirect us to the Xerox website. It may take a minute for the page to load. You're welcome to read over the agreement, but you have to select I agree in order to advance. Please do note that we are under desktop when we're adding these printers to our Windows 10 desktop. Let's scroll down and do a search for a printer. I'll search by the building or school two letter code. In my case, I want to add a printer from district office. I'll search with the code DO. It's important to note that sometimes the search by the two letter code is not exact. So don't forget to scroll down through the list to find your copier or printer. Here's the one I want to add, DO underscore C114 Hall. I select it. As you can see, a file downloads. When the download is complete, I select it. It can take up to a minute for the printer to be installed. Now, while technically we can start sending print jobs to the copier now, I would like to show you how to set up your printing preferences. Preferences are the common settings that you use daily when you print. Additionally, I'll show you how to get more features out of your copier. Let's see how to do this. Click in the lower left corner and start typing control panel. Select the name as it appears and then go to devices and printers. I'm going to look for this printer that installed and do some setup on it. Double click on the printer and then select see what's printing. Next, in the printer window that opens, select printer. You could set your default printer here if you wanted it. Now choose properties. From here, we want to select preferences. Once on preferences, we can see that our default printing is double sided. That's good because we want to save the environment and our budgets. Next, let's look at image options. Here, once again, we want to select Xerox black and white. This too will save our budgets and save the environment by not wasting all those color tones on jobs that don't need to be printed in color. When you're happy with all your changes, select OK. Next, we want to click the Configuration tab. What we'll look for here is the section called Finisher. Setting the correct finisher for the copier will allow for the extra features such as hole punch, stapler, booklet maker, or other feature sets. So now you're going to probably say, well, how do I know what finisher my copier has? Great question. See the Google Sheet that is listed on the Always Learning page where this video is. The sheet will show the copier's name, the finisher that's installed on it, and the hole punch type for you to choose. If for some reason your copier is not listed, then don't hesitate to reach out to tech services with a work order. We will reply with the info and then we'll update the sheet. My copier has the BR finisher. Select it and then say OK. Now that we have set our printing preferences and added our finisher, we can close out of all the windows. In closing, I'd like to say now that this printer is installed, any staff member that signs onto the computer should be able to print to it. The only requirement is that they are signed into the Xerox Workplace Cloud client. If you're thinking about students being able to print, that will be dependent on the printer's permissions. I hope you found this video informative. Happy printing and thanks for watching.